Ohio. It's so cold. <laughs> Good morning from one of the coolest Airbnb spots of all time. Look at it during the day. This place is literally insane. The ultimate Japanese home. Quick pause, I am super stoked to announce we have a limited edition Evo drop going live right now. This one is so sick. If you guys watched the last trip when we first got the Evo in Japan, I actually took this exact photo in Shibuya and it was so awesome that I decided to make it into some art for you guys. So we are dropping a brand new hoodie, which you guys can see right here, as well as a t-shirt for you guys to go along with this Japan trip and to commemorate the Evo being here in Japan because it really is so surreal that this car is here. And best of all, it's like an actual scene from the videos and a photo that I took here in Shibuya. So we're calling this the Shibuya Evo t-shirt. If you guys want to grab this for yourself, help support the channel and be a part of the Evo being here in Japan, you can head to the first thing down in the description box below and grab one. These are limited edition only while we are here in Japan. So make sure you grab one before they are gone. Once they're gone, they're never coming back. And like I said, you can be a part of this entire Evo series and commemorate how awesome this is. Not only do we have t-shirts, I also am dropping 2024 posters. So if you guys want to get ready for the new year and start marking your calendars up, uh, you can grab a Legends calendar live on the site right now. Back to the video. We're gonna head to the local Kambini and grab some breakfast. It's seriously so cool being able to stay local in a place where people are walking to work, biking to school. I mean, really makes you feel like you're really here. It's one of my favorite parts, you can get, getting to see the, the local Japanese architecture and stuff. I love this place so much. All the bonsai trees and truly nothing like Japan. What up? What's up, dude? Hey, man. Come on. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Oh Pretty insane. Oh my god. Like, I... <laughs> it's... It literally looks like... I was gonna say it looks like the Tokyo Drift Evo, but that's literally what it, it is. That's so. what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't see this last time. No. Yeah, I was just super busy the last few days that you, you were here when yeah, you got it. Yeah, I guess it. so. That's crazy, dude. Oh, Abel was meeting us for our, our adventure today, and Abel's friend as well. This I'm super excited. Ryotaro? English Chico Shokai. And my name is Ryotaro. Oh, he's good. <laughs> yeah, he's good English. So, <laughs> <name's> <laughs> so Abo and Yotoro are going to be joining us for today. I have something for you. Oh my god. Okay, oh my god. so this is this is so funny because it's usually the exact opposite. Yep. Before we go grab some lunch, I have something for Abo. Oh my god. Is this what I think it is? Yes, you uh, should probably uh, your your camera out here because instead of overnight parts from Japan, Albo, we have awesome. yeah. we have overnight parts from the US. So <laughs> Albo really, as you guys know, Albo has a super sick S2000 and he really wanted a certain part from the US and I was able to snag it for him and bring it to him all the way from the US Holy crap, to Dude, Japan. Literally the only thing you brought in this luggage was my mirrors. And all my brakes. Thank you. <laughs> so brakes from here too. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I uh, actually, uh, Evasive got in touch with me and wanted yeah. to send you like a little goodie pack oh, as no well. Oh, no way. Yeah. Wow, yes. that's awesome. So these are uh, carbon mirrors. Dude, these are so sick. Oh, oh. <laughs> they're so nice. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, oh. They're overnight USDM parts. <laughs> overnight parts from the US courtesy of famous YouTuber. <laughs> these are really, really sick though. These are a beautiful piece for his S2000. Yeah, yeah, I was it's... really hoping you were gonna drive it today. I'm sure I'll see it eventually. Uh, I, well, I was gonna drive it today, today, but the uh, <laughs> brake pads are done. Sick. So, little yeah, si done. side quest for me accomplished now that I got all of his car parts. We can continue our day and actually get started. We're getting a late start to the day, but for good reason. We're also gonna meet up with a friend, Yushi, and go see an absolutely legendary JDM shop. 
but it's a little bit different from what we are used to seeing. So let's get started. Adventures begin. First up, as always, we're gonna grab some food. All right, quick pit stop to fill up. That's the one bad thing about driving the Evo here. It has a fuel cell and I get maybe 80 to 100 miles depending on how we're driving per tank and we drive a lot so i'm filling up all the time but gotta weigh the discomforts for the benefits of having the tokyo drift evo here it's still pretty safe so we're gonna fill up and we actually ran out of time we're gonna grab a convenient lunch and head to the shop i've been dying to see So cool, dude. So Abo brought up the Forester today, and then Rito, oh, dude, your car, so cool. Oh, cool. thank so you. Cool. In a T37? Yes, S660 green? with, like, I think those are limited edition colors, right? Yeah, yep, yep. Limited edition, yeah, really? Yep. Green T37s, look how cool this thing is. Uh, spoon exhaust? Uh, yeah, spoon exhaust. I've never actually seen one of these up close in person, like modified, but it's sick. yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you show? Yes, yes let's go. Let's go. Come in lunch? Yes. All right, hear me out. We're gonna get some JD and McDonald's before we head to the shop, but there's one specific reason I really wanted to come to McDonald's and I think you guys are gonna love this because when I found out that they have this, I freaked out. So let's go grab a little bit of lunch and we'll head to the shop. This is gonna be so awesome. Cool day for this day. Hi. Let's to this. Hi. The reason why I really wanted to come to McDonald's, they have a Godzilla burger. They have three different kinds. What kind is yours? Double teriyaki and cheese. Oh my god. Yeah. I literally just wanted it to try the Godzilla burger and I'm gonna keep this and put this in the Godzilla collection. <laughs> okay, so mine... The wrapper? Yeah. <laughs> mine is just like meat and I think a hash brown in the middle. Yeah. Let's try it out here. Godzilla burger. Okay. It's the branding that makes it delicious. Interesting. I really just got it for the wrapper. <laughs> Got it. Pretty good, pretty weird, but you have to try it out. Mission success. All right, now we go to the shop. So, oh my brakes, dude. A pretty unique opportunity to be visiting this shop. It's something a little bit different than we've ever really seen before, but I'm excited to mix my two different loves together, if that makes sense. This is gonna be a good one, guys. Still so crazy seeing myself like that in the wild. Just sitting. Welcome to M's Machine Works. This is a Porsche racing factory here in Japan, obviously specializing in Porsches, but one in specific, which is really, really sick. And, oh, Dustin. So this is M's Machine Works. Like I said, they specialize in Porsche. Ever since I got my, my vintage 911, I have just fallen in love with everything Porsche. And I decided it'd be so cool to mix two of my loves and bring that to you guys. So cool, because they specialize in time attack Porsches. And they have a beautiful Cayman, which I really want to check out. 
Ems Machine Works, a true Japanese workshop located in the heart of Tokyo's Saitama Prefecture. Ems was started in the early 90s by the legendary craftsman Mizumoto-san. Throughout the years, Mizumoto-san and the Ems Machine Works team would go on to create parts for F1, Japan Super GT cars, 24 hours of Le Mans cars, Indy cars, and so much more. Since then, they have developed, produced, and sold original parts for Porsche. Today, we get the absolutely incredible opportunity to step inside and get a detailed look at their current projects. Hey, forget the goes on Oh my gosh. Oh. This is what I really wanted to show you guys. They have a Time Attack Cayman, but it's very different because it's a full GT3 build Cayman, which they race here in Japan at Attack Scuba, which uh, we'll actually get to see. And we'll talk more about this in a few days, but uh, we're getting to see this thing completely taken apart. This is probably the craziest built Cayman that you will ever see. Full GT3 build. Look at the exhaust, the suspension setup. Oh my god this thing is absolutely wild this car started out as you can see as a base came in but very quickly this thing has been pieced together handmade piece by piece i mean all body fenders even the framing has been machined look at the suspension push rod suspension up here uh, suspension uh, damper. Oh, original dampers yes. by M's machine works wow so we've got the push rod look at the arms i mean this is just insane all making the this all all made here yes wow so what they were telling us about this Porsche is that it was made specifically for scuba. It's very difficult to drive at other tracks, but this car was made and tested specifically for scuba. Gearing, suspension, everything. Taking kind of two of my loves and intertwining them here with obviously a, a very, very old school JDM shop, but with Porsches. It's like just the right amount of JDM intertwined with Porsche. You've got the center lock Volk racing wheels up here dry carbon canards very like very japanese time attack styling but on the porsche look at this look at the radiator ducting oh my gosh guys i am absolutely geeking out it's even got air jacks and you've got the stem right here here are the front fenders that all piece off but what's crazy is everything is made in-house. So what, you're, what you guys are seeing is literally built right over there, which they don't want to show because that is their private area for building and making all these parts. It's all proprietary. So they actually do it in this shop. Look at the, even the doors, Lexan windows. Oh my God. It's so cool seeing a completely different side of the Japanese car building. Like, look at this shot right here. <laughs> this is insane, guys. Hidden from the main street it's actually on, Ems is a very low-key shop, completely tucked away. When you think of OG Japanese tuner, Mizumoto-san embodies exactly just that. Really exercising amazing craftsmanship, but staying behind the curtain. All of the designs, chassis, suspension parts, everything for his motorsport projects come out of this shop. This Cayman GT3 project is a culmination of his expertise in motorsports development and his shop's personal aura when it comes to building and racing cars. You guys can see where they literally chop the frame off from the front and everything just bolts right on. They custom made the entire frame of the car, which is just absolutely wild. Really unique fact here, the car is actually four inches wider and two inches longer in length because of how they set the frame up and the suspension, which is just... <laughs> I am geeking out right now, guys. Look at the quality of the carbon down here as well. All the carbon arrow, the wing all custom. And I think the my favorite is probably the arrow up front with the front dry carbon splitter and the canards. Wow. It's essentially not even a uh, Cayman anymore. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. It's so cool. I mean, yes, like I love going to the GTR shops and, you know, Spoon and the Honda shops and stuff, but seeing something like this is just so next level. And, and like I said, intertwining two of my love, Porsche and JDM car culture. Oh, still going. Oh my gosh. That is so sick. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this is so cool. The center lock is just wild. Man, I still can't believe we get to do this stuff. For those of you guys that don't know, this is usually a front tub for a frunk, but they've completely chopped that off, made their own frame, made their own suspension in-house to be able to do this. And they were saying that this is the longest suspension in the world for the Cayman. This is the one of one. It looks like an F car, like a It F4, does, it looks like an F, I mean, it's got the double wishbone suspension, yep. the push rod suspension up here truly is almost like an F1 car. But it's crazy that it's built only for scuba. For that specific course, only TC2000. It's Wow. And it runs like 55 in oh, yeah. oh, so class. I, yeah, 55. So did he say what engine is in this? Is it the 3.8? Oh, no, I didn't ask. Yeah, I don't want to ask him. Okay. Four liter? Wow. Dude, that's insane. So it's a Cayman, but it has the GT3 Cup engine in it. So it has the 4.0 Cup engine. Yeah, from the 992. Wow. <laughs> Look at this, dude. That's insane. It's got a 992 cup engine in it. Wow. Got the coolers here. Dude, this is just... The level of craftsmanship is just insane, dude. The whole kit for the center locks was actually made here, too. So this was made in-house. This was made in-house. <laughs> this is machined here, too? How? Where are we? Like, <laughs> super high-end one-off Oh parts. my gosh. So this is the actual locking for the for the wheel lock, yeah. <laughs> so the, the, the rotor itself, rotor movement. Oh, oh, so the rotor and the, the brake itself, right. that's like, um, outside manufacturer right but then they make like this whole mechanism this part even the part that holds it together <laughs> everything how crazy is that dude, where are we dude it doesn't this even is, make sense like, this is all next level next in level. like the most humble little shop yes they make the craziest sports cars that's what's so cool about this is like look at this like you would never think out of this place, all of this would be able to be made. But this is all... As we drove by, you would never think would a never super know. crazy shop like this would be here. Where they make world-beating cars in like a little shop. It's yeah. crazy. Oh, it's running Motec as well. Wow. So can you ask him why they decided to do a Cayman? Oh, okay. Like, like a base Cayman, the GT3... No, like an engine. <laughs> so the potential of the chassis of a Cayman, of like a midship engine car, uh -huh. is, is, in their opinion, it's much higher than if it's a rear engine wow. like the 911. So they said that Porsche only makes this car which has that kind of potential. Wow. So that's why they chose to build this. That's so unique. Porsche. It's the, yeah, exactly, the ultimate Porsche. They literally took- the Ultimate racing Porsche. They took the chassis of a mid-engine Cayman and basically put the power plant of a GT3 Cup car in the Cayman. Wow. Like, the GT4 RS is like that, right? It has like the yes. GT3 uh, Essentially, yeah. yeah. So they basically one-upped the GT4 RS. They just yeah. did a yeah. 992 Cup yeah. in the Cayman. <laughs> so it's like, it's like a step above the GT4 RS, I guess. Yeah. And it's like all purpose-built, custom-built yeah. house. You know how much money Porsche has? They can R&D like a billion dollars yeah. into the cars. They just make they it here, right? They do that in the house, in, in, this, in this exact shop, which is the crazy part, in this place. And again, that's why Japan and Japan car shops are so special. Because yeah. where else do you find stuff like this? I think what's super cool is like, in Japan, you have this idea of becoming like a, like a craftsman, like an artist, yeah. like a takumi. And you know, like it goes all the way back to when they would make like uh, katana, like swords. Mm -hmm. And the same philosophy now applies to racing cars. They want to make like the best of the best. And it's a matter of pride. It's, it's fascinating. Just, it's just crazy, man. So I'm so excited that we get to actually see this thing run. And just a few days, this thing will be put completely back together. So he also explained to us that 
the original suspension doesn't have the performance characteristic like at, at the uh, uh, the limit that they that they wanted. So right. they, after they studied it, they had to make this kind of you know like true cool. racing car. Yeah. Sense. Essentially, all you have left from the Cayman is the shell and <laughs> where the engine is positioned. Everything else is completely and, and custom. Dash, barely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can't. That's so cool. It's running Motec and everything as yeah. well. It's, wow. You know, to me, it's like the combination of like Porsche, with like Recaro RMS. Seats. Dude, I know they sprinkled in all the right JDM bits, yeah. Yeah. Recaros, Volks, and it's not just like a shop car. It's not like a demo car. It's they like, race this thing. Yes, hard. at the highest level of Japanese motorsports. It's like that's what makes Time Attack so cool. It is. It really is, dude. Even look, look at the air jack system too. That's wild. Just integrated. And then look. <laughs> oh my god, this is way too cool. But I gotta give them a little present from us. Days like this blow my mind and seeing things like this is like reinforces why I love what I do. I mean, again, we're in kind of like the middle of nowhere alleyway and to find a shop like this is just unbelievable. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Company's character. Yeah, so, so, so. Kei Hayami. Oh, Hayami. So cool. <laughs> Dude, how cool is That's it? so cool. They're, they're characters. Like I know. Cute anime girl. <laughs> of course. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, so it all makes so much sense now. The owner of the shop that we met, Mizumoto san, that's where the end comes from. Mizumoto san's machine works. I get it now. How cool is this? Porsche Racing Factory, this is definitely going on the keys for our 911 SC. This is so cool, man. This is the real JDM car shop experience. It, it really is so cool. Oh, thank you. Hi. This is Hi. 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 Mizumoto-san just gave me some M's Machine Works stickers. Oh my gosh, man. And another thing is how kind everybody is here, especially to let someone they don't even know into their shop to come and view something like this. This is, this is Japan. Oh, nice. Oh my god, dude. Dude, how cool is this? The paddle system, dude. This is insane. It's I can't imagine driving something like this, dude. And everything's so solid. Oh my god. It's that pure machine quality. Dude. Wow. This is crazy, man. Even this was machined here, too. Yeah. The way they made the steering wheel. Wow. Uh, if you turn the wheel, it's, it's actually turning it. Turning the tire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so sick. This is insane, dude. This is like once in a lifetime kind it of is, stuff. It is. Can you see it all taken apart and everything and being able to sit in here like this? Dude. Wow. I mean, this literally feels like an F1 cockpit. This is insane. You know, I feel like there's a lot of shops like this. Maybe not like to this level, but yeah. you know, there's a lot of shops that people don't know about. Yeah. Just because they haven't gotten like a lot of publicity. Right. But this deserves all of it. It's this crazy. Is, I've yeah. never, this almost might be the craziest one we've ever been to. The quality and craftsmanship, like yeah. this is insane guys. It li I also literally feel like I'm in a rocket ship. I feel like this is like a space rocket ship cockpit right now. That's very graceful. Dude, how, how cool is this? Gosh. Uh, <laughs> it's like that anime vibe I know. with super high speed with like Porsche. <laughs> Por attack Porsches. I love this so, so cool. much. This should be an anime. It this should, should be an anime. Yeah. <laughs> kind of feels like our life today was an anime. Godzilla oh, Burger gosh. to Porsche JDM oh, yeah. Dream it, Shop. It's just an anime commercial. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so, that was so cool. Seeing on the ground is so cool. Wow. Dude, this, this front splitter is huge. I want to check it out. You can really get a sense of how wide this car actually is when it's on the ground. Yeah. The stance is ridiculous. Oh. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Oh curve. my gosh. Yeah. Not just a thin plate, it's like this huge. Yeah. I wish you guys could see this in person because this is insane. 
all the carbon is so quality too, dude. Yep. That's one of my favorite parts, dude. The big uh, radiator ducting. This is by far one of the coolest shops I've ever been to. Oh yeah, I was not expecting to be <laughs> so blown away <laughs> on a random Thursday. Wow. Seeing it on the ground now is like a whole different monster, but I haven't, I haven't physically said it yet, but we are racing at Scuba um, on the 17th of this month in preparation for something even larger, which we'll talk about at that point. But what's really cool is I kept hinting at this, and if you stayed this long in the video, might as well just leak it a little bit. We're racing at Scuba at the Zumi Attack event next week, and uh, the Ems Machine Works came in will also be there, so that's why they're getting this thing ready. So it's really cool for us to be able to see it disassembled like this, so that when we go to the track and see it at Scuba and race at Scuba, we'll be able to actually see this thing run properly, fully built and rebuilt for the season, which is really, really cool. That's gonna be epic. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Oh, so Bye. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. I know, that was That's so, so cool, that dude. That was really cool. Now I just, how what, do you, what a day, guys. Yeah. What a day. What how, do you even, how do you even top that now? Where, where does today go, go after home. that? Go home and sleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Akihabara where we can practice or you can practice yes okay so actually yushi knows a place in akibara which is a really we've taken you guys there before but they have sim racing right so yeah, it's, sim like racing, a, yeah. it's like a sim racing place only for sim racing yeah just wow sim racing, it's yeah. literally a sim racing shop which is really yeah. cool and since we have an attack day next week we're gonna go practice and do some sim runs and then get some dinner okay. i think that's the best way to end today after i this. think so yeah after this one yeah you're amped up to do something right <laughs> i gotta go drive the sim yes <laughs> all right go let's go gt7 <laughs> 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 oh, absolutely epic i'm gonna keep using that word epic epic adventure that was just Perfect, perfect day. Okay, now let's go to downtown Tokyo. Welcome to Akiba, Tokyo's neon city. It still blows my mind to see the, the Evo here, Yushi. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, sim racing the dinner? Let's, let's go sim Sweet. Oh, man, Akiba always still blows my mind, even though I've been here so many times. <laughs> you have the main strip of all the neon lights, but then you can go in the back alleyways and kind of get like that local, small, izakaya style shops. Yeah. Away. Yushi, they must be rented out. Yeah. Rip. I was so excited. Now, another great thing about Akiba yeah. are the stores. Yeah. And uh, you guys know my addiction. Yushi. It's time to do it. The one that I don't have that I've really been wanting, Space Godzilla. And they have it. Yushi's my bad influence. We're getting another another one for the collection. It was a space called it just This is why I can't come to Akiba, at least during operating hours because this happens. But this is gonna look awesome in the Godzilla collection. Yushi, yes. on go on now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Tadaima. 
Tada ima. Tada ima. I'm back. Well, another night of hot pot. This is different hot pot though, right? This is Chinese hot pot. Ah, okay. What is this called again? Inabe. Inabe, that's what it is. Inabe. Inabe. So a little bit of a different version of hot pot, but nonetheless. Race to have on Can you see this? Yeah. Oh, you didn't get it? Welcome again to Masters Another Takeover of Dustin Williams' vlog. And I am walking towards to UDX parking lot where both of the cars were parked in. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm vlogging. No, you're wasting my footage. What yes, yes. So here we are in Akihabara. <laughs> okay, one last stop for tonight, but I figure I'll show you guys real fast. This is our friend Indra here. He met us for dinner, but Indra actually drives a really sick R35 GTR and tracks this thing, which is super rad too. We have one more stop for tonight, which is going to be Daikoku. Unfortunately, Indra is going home because he has work tomorrow, but I figure I'd show you guys really quickly how rad this GTR is. Tons of good carbon bits and gay wheels. Upgraded brakes. This thing is so sick. Ooh, and a bridge seat on the inside. So dope. Dude, look at this truck. Indra. Indra. Yo. What wing is this? Uh, it's green, red carbon. That's so sick, dude. Know, right? That's like the driest of dry carbon here. It barely weighs a kilo. Really? Yeah, you take it off, it's like you hold it with one hand. That's so All sick, right? dude. Alright, like I said, one last stop for tonight. Let's go to Daikoku for the first time this whole trip. Should be good. Like I said, it's auto salon time, so I mean really every time you go to Daikoku, you probably have something unique. So especially during auto salon time. So we're gonna hang out for just a bit, grab a coffee, and then head back to the Airbnb. Lights up. It's so cool seeing everybody geek out over the Tokyo Drippy Bo. <laughs> Still surreal to just have this car it here. Does, is this one for, designed for the Evo, right? <sighs> this is so cool, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody's interested in your play for sure. Yeah. No matter how many times you come to Daikoku, it'll never get old. So, our friend Indra actually ended up cruising with us all the way down here. It's always the best when you get a spot that overlooks the entire Daikoku Expressway around. It's like the iconic look, so rad. So we're gonna get some shots of the Evo and then go walk around and see what's here. It's actually a pretty chill night here at Daikoku. Our usual Daikoku tradition, racer's coffee. Yep. Taijo, 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 before tomorrow. Got to see some awesome cars here at Daikoku and even meet some of you guys. So thank you guys for coming to say what's up. I actually like, have a little stash of stickers and jet tags. If you guys see me here, uh, and if I have any left, I'm gonna hand out some stickers and jet tags for you guys. So appreciate you guys for coming and saying what's up. Okay, see you guys back at the Airbnb. Oh, I am beyond exhausted. 
1 20 in the morning just made it home but it's those late night drive just cruising by yourself especially for me like leaving daikoku leaving seeing the tokyo expressway and just reflecting on everything that we've been able to do i mean even just this trip two days in has been insane visiting m's machine works that was unbelievable seeing everybody at daikoku hanging out with friends all the cars i don't know it's like all of this is why I fell in love and started doing this in the first place. And it's just crazy that we're able to live this right now. And I'm so happy that I get to share it with all of you guys and even getting to meet you guys that are in Japan right now for Auto Salon at Daikoku. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. And uh, I don't know, I'm just super grateful. Thank you guys for making this my life. And I hope that I can provide some sort of insight and entertainment and education, I guess. And um, I'm just really lucky that I'm able to do this, so thank you guys. I am literally falling asleep as I upload all of my footage from today. So I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Guys, don't forget that you can help support the channel and be a part of this Evo series by grabbing a t-shirt or a hoodie or even a calendar. First thing down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. Of course, leave us a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. It really does help out the channel and also help share the channel as well. We're trying to grow and get 800k all the way up to a million. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to help share the channel. Once again, thank you. We'll see you in the next one. Oyasumi Nasai.